Hey, thank you for coming by Tori Magoo 44. Today is the 17th of June. It is my birthday month. And for my birthday, one of my friends, Victoria Berry, and her husband, Richard, invited me up to Monterey, California, and I had the most wonderful time. It was fantastic. If you have never been to Monterey Carmel Seaside, I highly recommend it. It is heaven on earth, truly. It's beautiful. So, I know most of you that are part of my YouTube site know Mr. Anonymous. I don't want you to forget him. There he is. He's been out and about scouting around from Norway all the way to here and back. Hello. There you go. He's our little buddy that is often here but often out and about. And I now have Mr. Monterey. Here he is. <laughs> I got him up in the Redwoods. Isn't he cute? He decided to come home with me. So there you go. So that's my two two buddies. You know Mr. Anonymous. He's part of my YouTube site. And uh, Mr. Monterey. There you go. All right. So what am I talking about today besides my bears, which I happen to love bears. So there you go. That's just part of me. Um, Howdy Com is coming up. And I want to talk about the value of friends getting together. Because it's every time we get together. I don't know if it's the huge part of it is that we, most of us who left the Church of Scientology lost all of our friends, mothers, fathers, kids, you know, my husband, you know, that kind of thing. They stay in, we leave, and they are not allowed to talk to us. If they talk to us, they lose all their friends and their family. So many people are like, no, no, I'm not talking to you anymore. And they don't even say anything. They just walk by like you're invisible. So as a result, all of us who have experienced that have become very good friends. And another layer of it are people that were never even in Scientology but started seeing the abuses of Scientology. And they also started standing up. These were the critics that I met in 2000. And uh, they may have been before that, but that's when I met him because I escaped out in 2000. <clears throat> then the, there was Anonymous in 2008, which was a huge change in the whole thing. And I've talked about that many times. And then after that is Tony Ortega and the Never Ends. And they are all coming to Los Angeles this weekend. And I highly recommend, highly recommend that if you can at all, come. It's going to be a fun, fun weekend. And it's a combination Howdy Con and a memorial for a gentleman named Bill Franks and Amos Jessup, two people that were way up in the Church of Scientology and left and have now recently passed away. So we're going to have a memorial for them on Saturday. On Friday night is uh, the Howdy Con thing, which is going to be Whatever it is, it's going to be good. And we're going to get together. That's the thing. You get together with your friends. It's always amazing to me. Every time. You know, when you're in the Church of Scientology, which isn't a church, it's a cult. But when you're in it, they're constantly talking about how awful these suppressive people are. Or, oh, you thought, you know, this person was a good person. No, they're declared suppressive. They're out. You know, don't ever talk to them. And you're like, really? I thought they ran the advanced organization. You know, that that's a true story where Ivan Obolinsky for years was like the greatest guy on earth. You know, it's, oh, Ivan's this and Ivan's that. And he's the top statistics. And you, he couldn't do it enough. And overnight, don't talk to Ivan. He's declared suppressive. And I was like, what? So they're very weird on that. But as a result of it, ever since I escaped out, and I'm sure before that, I know before that, but... But my own personal experience, I started having little parties. I started with four people and then eight people and 10 people and then 25 people and people were flying in. And it was, I had parties for I think 14 years for a very, very long time. It was really, really fun. But it still is. We still have SP parties and now this is going to be Howdy Con. And Howdy Con, for anybody who doesn't know, there was a gentleman named Captain Howdy who was on Tony's site and a lot of those people knew him and then he passed away. So in honor of Captain Howdy, they started HowdyCon, and they had the first one on the East Coast. The second year was, uh, I think, last year, and I think it was in Ohio or somewhere around the Midwest, that, that area, and then um, East Midwest. But um, 
now this one's in Los Angeles this weekend and it starts Thursday night and you can go on Tony Ortega's site the underground bunker and he spells it all out but it's on Thursday night I think we're all meeting at a bar and many people are going to a play uh, squeeze my cans which is very funny and then um, Friday is the Howdy Con event and then Saturday is the memorial. So there you go. That's basically all I know for now. So I hope if you're anywhere in the area at all, and there are people flying in, so there's a lot of people that are coming that haven't been around in a long, long time are coming, and they need people to meet. So if you can come, I hope you come. And we always have a good time. I've never, ever... I mean, that's the ironic thing. You know, when you're in the Church of Scientology, the SPs are these evil, horrible people. Then you get out, and they're like amazingly great, fun people. They're really neat. So I hope you come. That's all. That's all I wanted to say. And uh, from my little buddies, there you go. And from Mr. Anonymous, because a few people asked about him, here he is, Mr. Norwin. <laughs> all right. You guys have a wonderful week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.